One of the sentiments that you run into pretty quickly with the creation of Juneteenth is just how fast it happened in this administration. 100 percent of senators pushing forward with it, the president signing it into law, and now something that people have been fighting for for so long is finally here. It's a holiday 156 years in the making, and today the city of San Diego raised the Juneteenth flag, commemorating the day the last Texas slaves were told they were free. And we're standing better than ever, and we're reaching higher heights every single day that we occupy this nation, this state, this county, and this city. And I am so proud to be a part of the black culture day and every day of my life. The Emancipation Proclamation had been signed two and a half years before, and now the United States has codified this moment in our national pastime as a federal holiday. Scholars, activists, and business owners reacted to the news. It was very surprising, man. Very surprising. I'm so happy. You know, my parents, you know, they worked hard. Makeda Dread Cheatham, the owner of the World Beat Cafe, says her Texas roots would be extremely proud of the sentiment Juneteenth brings to the nation. Until, you know, all of us are together, none of us will be free. My hope is that this turns into something. It's a real opportunity, and we need to seize it as a country. Activist Shane Harris says this moment is for all races to be proud of their country. This moment is historic, but the actions that we take after this moment and the national holiday being implemented are really important. Opening your heart and, and, and not having one race over another race. We're the human race. We're the human race. Tomorrow, celebrating Juneteenth will be all over San Diego, including right here at the World Beat Center in Balboa Park. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.